Before we get started, let's do a little bit of housekeeping. Let's make sure that I'm coming through loud and clear. Maybe you could just real quickly type something in the question area. Maybe a, a good morning and tell me a little bit about uh, where you're from. That would be perfect. I'd appreciate it. Give you a chance of folks to sound good. Bob from Texas. Excellent. Brad from Minnesota. Amy from Washington. Good to see you in the training session again. Perfect. Thanks so much for the feedback, folks. I really appreciate it. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, talk a little bit about what we're going to be covering in, uh, in today's presentation. And um, you can see the goals with our training session, 10 days of, uh, I guess you could say, Christmas training here for you. We, have, we want to help you increase your conversion rates. We want to accelerate the client commitment during the sales cycle. We want to increase your referrals with your realtor partners, build a network of referrals, and save you some time using um, Mortgage Coach. Any, any way that we could save an originator some time, um, that could be huge for you. Now, yesterday we covered uh, the purchase PowerPoint total cost analysis, and today we're going to be working on the FHA versus conventional. Today's presentation is probably one of the most uh, relevant ones that you're going to be doing. The reason being is that you're probably doing a lot of high LTV purchase transactions. And I'm going to launch a poll here in just a second just to confirm that, but um, most likely you're probably doing a lot of these particular products. So today's presentation is going to be very relevant for what you're doing. And we'll walk you through step by step and how to accomplish uh, today's training presentation. Now I do want to keep keep you folks in, uh, in tune and in mind with what's going on with our training opportunities. Every Tuesday we have a Tuesday interview with our CEO, Dave Savage. And if you haven't signed up for that, I would highly recommend doing that. Not only are you going to get great content about um, how to utilize Mortgage Coach, um, but you're also going to get good, great content on how to um, do different aspects in your particular business because you're going to be hearing from leaders in a variety of different uh, industries. You've got Dave Ramsey, Bill Hart, Darren Hardy, Simon Sinek, so a lot of great content for you. Highly recommend signing up for it. And also make sure that you're taking advantage of the tra other training opportunities that you have. Every Monday we have our beginner intro to Mortgage Coach. Tuesday, as I mentioned, we have that interview with Dave Savage. Um, Wednesdays we have our mobile conversations, teaching how to use your mobile devices with Mortgage Coach. And then Thursday our Q&A. And then, of course, um, we're going to be starting up the Mortgage Coach University in the month of uh, January, coming up in the new year. So lots of good content for you to, to help you better learn and uh, understand how to use Mortgage Coach. All right, let's go ahead and take a little bit, uh, take a look at uh, today's presentation. We're going to be showing you how to not only build a uh, total cost analysis and compare an FHA versus a conventional mortgage, but we're going to show you um, how to display that and show that to your clients um, using your mobile device as well. So that's going to be a very important factor. So keep that in mind and uh, let's go ahead and get the presentation started here. So I've got a presentation already prepared. I, I kind of like to see you know, and present to you what we're going to be working towards and then go back and show you how to complete the steps to um, build the presentation. So let me show you I have a, a presentation already built. It's a total cost analysis, and we are comparing a conventional 5% down payment product against an FHA 3.5% down payment product. So just so that you're aware of uh, you know, what your borrowers are, are seeing when they take a look at your presentation, you want to make yourself very familiar with all the different uh, analysis areas here. Up here in the top right hand corner, you're going to see that which product is going to provide the borrower with a monthly savings. Um, anybody can uh, take a look up in here in this top right area here and tell me which product is going to save the borrower the most money. Which one is going to um, provide them with the lowest monthly payment? By looking up here in the top right hand area, let's see who's paying attention and can uh, fire that off there. Don't don't uh, hesitate to participate. If you don't get the right answer, I'm not going to call you out and embarrass you. Um, so don't uh, don't be shy about participating. This this presentation is is for you. So yes, it looks like the majority of you folks did get the uh, the correct answer, which is great. It's the conventional five percent down payment product. It's going to save. 
this particular borrower, who happens to be John and Sally, a new home buyer, um, $39 a month over the FHA product. So that's why you have the big bar graph there. It's indicating that's a savings over this particular product here. Now in the, uh, the middle analysis area here, where it's the savings over 60 months, this is representing how much the borrower will save with this particular product, the conventional 5% down payment versus the FHA 3%. Uh, product. So over this particular time horizon, and do keep in mind, mind folks, you have the capability of being able to adjust the time horizon to whatever you feel is relevant for them to take a look at. And this particular area is really good if you're doing a refinance scenario and want to show a break-even uh, analysis. Just, so just keep that in mind. If you're doing a refinance scenario, very helpful for you. Um, <clears throat> But do also adjust that to a time horizon that's relevant for your borrower. The default is 60 months. And since we're talking about defa defaults in the bottom area here in the long-term analysis, uh, you're going to see that the default period is 15 years and it defaults to interest and MI. Well, interest and MI is probably a pretty good default to go through when you're comparing these two particular products because mortgage insurance is going to be a very important factor in a new home buyer's uh, decision process about which product they're going to move forward on and take into account that uh, that mortgage insurance. So I do want to again encourage you folks um, go ahead and ask as many questions as you want. We do have somebody monitoring the question box and uh, they're going to be assisting me in, in getting all those questions answered and we might call out a, a question or two that, uh, that really stands out as being um, a rock star question. Um, and, and talk about that a little bit more too if we have something that pops up. Now over here in the summary area, this is where your borrower is going to be able to get a lot of information. You can see our purchase price, uh, the amount of the loan that they're going to be taking out, the different interest rates. And if you'll notice, this is highlighted. Um, a lot of you, when I'm, when I'm doing on-site trainings um, and in one-on-one -on -one trainings, a lot of you don't realize that you have the capability of really drawing your borrower's attention to specific areas in your presentation by using your highlight tool. So all you have to do is click on a particular area and if you don't want to highlight it, click on it again and then the highlight will be removed. Now if you want to emphasize an entire product, what you could do is go up to the name of the product up here, click on that and it will highlight the entire product for you. So you're really emphasizing one product versus another it's a great way to go ahead and draw your borrower's attention to that particular area. If you feel like you might have overdid the highlight, right down here there is a clear all button. Just hit that and all the highlights will be removed for you. But go ahead and you know draw the attention to your borrower the points that you think are most important. And over here you can add any type of notes that are uh, specific to the presentation that you think are included. You can see here that I put estimated taxes, insurance, and required mortgage insurance are included in your payment. So that way your borrower gets an idea of what their total monthly outgo will be for purchasing this particular home. There's also more info buttons in each of the areas there that I would encourage you to go ahead and familiarize yourself with and click on those. So real quickly, before we get too far along in the presentation here, I'd like to get a little bit of an idea as to where we're at, um, where you're at with utilizing mortgage code. So I'm going to go ahead and launch a little poll here and see how many of you have created your first total cost analysis. Um, so if you can go ahead and participate, jump in there. I'd like to get uh, north of, say, 70% or so, and we're currently about 50%. Let's get a few more people participating. We'll close it here in another five seconds. And I'll be happy to share those results with you. Okay, I'm going to close the poll here. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go ahead and close the poll and let me go ahead and share the results with you. So we're almost at the 50 50 mark. So some of you have built uh, a total cost analysis presentation before and others not yet, which is perfect. I mean, this is a class that you want to attend. Like I said, I'm going to take you through start to finish how to build the exact presentation here that, um, that I just put together here for you. And just one more poll here before we, we go in and build the presentation. 
want to make sure that uh, you folks are, are currently offering FHA loans. So if you can go ahead and participate there, that would be helpful. I'm going to take a quick sip of water here while you're doing that. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close it and take a look at this. You folks are in the right place then. So we, <laughs> we definitely have the right presentation for you here. Okay. All right. So to create the presentation here, what you're going to want to do, I'm going to go back to my home screen. This is the actual presentation that I was working on. And you know what I might do is walk you through it here step by step. So to create the, the, the presentation, first off, anytime you want to create a presentation for a new client, new borrower, you're always going to click on the new client button here. And then you can go ahead and start entering information about you know, your borrower's contact information um, and then proceed from that point forward. I just want to make sure that you're aware that you click on new client and then that's how you're going to access building um, the presentation. Let me go ahead and go back to the one that I've already got built for you here. So if you take a look, I've entered my borrower's name, John, new home buyer, his wife, Sally, new home buyer. Um, I've re I was referred this particular client by the a realtor by the name of Stanley Realtor. Again, this is all information that you can go ahead and enter. It's not mandatory that you put all these particular details in there. The one thing that is mandatory is right up here in the red highlighted field. Anytime you see a red highlighted field, it is mandatory for you to put some information in that one. But I chose to put in this additional information, I'll, and I'll walk you through why it's important here, because it's important for you to be able to make an informed decision as to whether or not you want to put data in a particular field and understand why or why not you'd want to do that. Now, I'll also draw your attention to a couple areas here where it says individual and marketing. You can see the dial button is in the individual position, it's in the client position, and it's in the own position here. So this is going to give me the capability to build the total cost analysis. By default, the system automatically gets you set up to build the exact presentation that we're going to go through today, the total cost analysis. Now, of course, I captured my borrower's uh, contact information. I'll just put in a number here. And again, I put in my realtor partner's information and I put my partner, that realtor partner's email in here as well. So if you want to keep your realtor partner in the loop as far as how often the presentation is viewed, you can go ahead and put their information in here and they'll get an email also notifying them that the presentation was viewed. Now, the friendly name feature. I personally feel that it's very important for you to put something in there about what you're doing in the presentation. The reason being is that once you do one transaction for a client, you want to keep that customer for life. You want to be able to do future presentations for them. And if you use that friendly name feature, it's going to be very easy for you when you go to look for that particular client in your Mortgage Coach database here. So real quickly, I'm just going to show you where that Mortgage Coach database is located. Go to View All, Search, and look what pops up here. This is your database of all the different borrower presentations that you've built. Now, that particular borrower's uh, name was uh, John New Home Buyer. Let's see where we're at. There we are. Here's a presentation. I'm going to open up the folder, and then there's the presentation that I built for them. If I did put that name there, the only thing that's going to appear is a date and a timestamp. So it could be a little bit confusing. And the benefit of doing it this way, guess what? When it comes time for me to do another presentation for them, maybe they're going to be purchasing another home, they want to do a refinance, I definitely want to do an annual mortgage review for them. All I have to do is highlight their name, click Add Analysis, and it will save you folks a lot of time in bringing over data that you've already have for them just by clicking on the ad analysis there. The other thing is that if you find that you you're doing this particular presentation for a lot of different clients, you know, in this particular one I'm showing you how to build a presentation for John new home buyer. But what happens if Mr. and Mrs. Smith are in the same exact situation as this particular client? 
All you have to do is highlight the presentation that you built there, hit your copy analysis button, type in new client, and then guess what? Your products are already built in there for them. All you have to do is input their information, maybe edit the products specifically around the purchase price that, of the home that they're buying. Um, if the rates have changed since that, all you're going to have to do is a minimal amount of editing rather than recreating the whole presentation over from the beginning. So that's how you can save yourself a lot of time in, uh, in using Mortgage Coach and managing your Mortgage Coach database uh, effectively. That's how you're going to become a rock star and be able to zip these presentations out really, really fast by you know, utilizing the really great presentations that you've already done or that you use on a repeated basis just use the copy analysis button there. Okay, so let me go ahead and go back to the presentation. And again, this is the first page that we just went through. We're in the client tab. We're going to go ahead and move over to uh, the goals tab. Real simple. Well, this is going to be a purchase transaction. You can see all the other goals are in reference to a refinance transaction. So all you have to do is put a check mark in that box. Anytime that you arrow to the right or to the left, it's going to save the information. Now, in this particular presentation, it's going to give me the opportunity to discuss the benefits of an FHA loan versus a conventional loan based upon my client's uh, qualifications, whether it's going to be more advantageous for them um, based upon maybe their credit score, the amount of reserves that they have, their income level, or whatever the case is. You know, what advantage are they going to be able to get in using one particular product versus another? And that's what I'm going to educate my client with. You, you as an originator that have access to the tool of Mortgage Coach, you want to utilize this tool to differentiate yourself from your competition. You want to get a competitive advantage against your competition by providing your borrower with an education and using this format. You're going to give them numbers, graphs, and videos. So great content for you here. Let's make sure you understand um, you know, that you, the benefits that you have by having access to this particular tool. Now, in this particular area, <clears throat> I, I put the property value again. You can see that is a red highlighted field. This is the assumptions tab. So it is mandatory for me to put in what the, uh, the value of the home is that they're purchasing. It is not mandatory for me, however, to put information in these particular areas. It's my choice. Now, if I was using Mortgage Coach as my initial interviewing tool prior to putting it into my LOS, this could be very helpful information for me. So if I'm interviewing a client and they say, you know, yes, everything looks great, let's go ahead and get started. Now I already have this data captured, and I could go ahead and start entering the information in my LOS system using the data that I've already captured in Mortgage Coach. Um, one of the things that I think is very important for new home buyers. To understand is the tax benefit and you're going to want to put in a factor in here to be able to demonstrate that benefit on your total cost analysis presentation so if you take a look at the the presentation I have it open here and as a matter of say best practices I would recommend that you do have a preview of your presentation open as you're building it here in the mortgage coach edge wizard so that way you can quickly toggle back and forth and see the effect of what you're building and how it makes adjustments with your presentation. So real quickly, I'm going to hit the clear all button. I'm going to point out the tax benefit, how it's appearing on my presentation at this point in time. If you do not put a factor in here, folks, you're not going to be able to show that tax benefit. And I'll show you real quickly. So I'm just going to arrow over you'll see the tax benefit disappear in my presentation here in just a few seconds. There it goes. So keep in mind, if that's something that's very important for you, a selling point uh, for a particular presentation, make sure that you take advantage of putting that tax benefit in there. And we do provide you with a quick link so that should you not know what your borrower's tax bracket is, you can always use the, uh, the quick link and uh, make it a little bit easier. Of course, you want to get that information directly from them or their financial advisor best case scenario for you, but you can provide them an estimate using that. Okay, here again, we have some white fields. Nothing is red, so it's not mandatory for me to put information here. 
However, in interviewing this particular client, you know, you're going to get a good feeling of what is the maximum payment that they feel comfortable with. What's the ideal mortgage payment that they would like to have? What kind of price range are they looking for here? So there's very relevant information and you could use this yellow rectangular area to make any notes when you're asking these questions. You know, who you're determining might be the, uh, the numbers person in the decision making process. Who's, um, you know, the, uh, the person that wears the pants in the, uh, the decision making process. You can make those notes. Um, of course, what their goals are, ways of building rapport with them. Make use of that. It's only for your information. It's not going to appear anywhere in the presentation. Only for your knowledge. Now you're in the product area here. So once you get into the product area, one of the things that I truly like about Mortgage Coach is that you have the ability to name the products whatever you think is um, important. Um, you can name the product. You're not limited to a drop-down menu where you have to pick 15, 30, or whatever the case is. So if you take a look at it here, I'm just going to move my highlighter in here and or my mouse in that field, and you can see that you want to try and keep the names of your products about 12 characters or less. And that's in case you print out your presentation so it appears spaced correctly. So you want to keep it to about 12 characters or less. You can get as creative as you want. Now my first product is going to be a conventional loan. So I went ahead, got my purchase price in there, I've entered the down payment amount that I want. You can use either a dollar figure or a percentage, whatever is you know, most convenient for you. Once you enter that factor in there, it automatically does the work for you of determining what your base loan amount is. I went ahead and put an interest rate of four and a quarter percent. And you'll notice here in the terms, you want to use those terms in months rather than years. Make sure that they are in months. This particular product is a fixed rate product, but you do have the capability of doing ARM adjustable rate mortgages here as well. Let me go ahead and arrow over to the next page. Now this is where you're going to share with your clients what the costs are that are associated with that particular product. Now there's a couple ways that as an originator you can share those costs with your clients. One of them would be to go ahead and group them together and go ahead and enter figures in, in these particular fields, um, such as the APR related costs, prepaid escrows, non-APR costs, or you can go ahead and use a fee template from your closing cost detail over here. So I'm going to go up here to the top right hand corner, get my drop down menu, and I'm going to go ahead and choose this particular template right here, conventional purchase fees. Click on that, click on apply to loan, and I'm good to go. It automatically populates all these particular fields. Um, if I do need to do any editing in these fields, I would go back into the closing cost detail because they're grayed out. I can't enter anything in there once they've been grayed out. Can't make any changes. I would have to go into closing cost detail. In this case, I'm showing that my borrower put a $1,000 earnest money deposit down. And I'm also showing that this particular uh, rate, a four and a quarter percent, comes with uh, three-eighths points. Now, if you're curious what that dollar figure is, you can always let your mouse drift up into that field, and it shows you specifically what that cost is in a dollar figure. Same with your prepaid interest here as well. Let me go ahead and arrow forward. Now, I'm going through this. I just want to make sure that everybody's able to follow along and uh, following along with me and good to go. I do want to make you aware that. Uh, we are recording this session so that you're going to be able to access it and um, fast forward to the pieces where you think it's, you, know, you need to get particular content. Um, so keep that in mind. It is being recorded. Just go ahead and focus on the presentation. And if uh, you have any questions later, you can get a copy of it and uh, go over it in more and more detail as well. Okay, now I want to go ahead and share with my client what the monthly costs are with a particular product. Um, you can see here I entered as a percentage what the monthly costs are for purchasing this particular home at that price point. And you'll notice that I did it as a percentage. I think as a matter of best practices, 
It's easier if you use a percentage because should your loan amount change, your purchase price change, it will fluctuate along with that. If you put in a dollar amount, you're going to have to edit that should your, your price change. You can see I put in a factor for mortgage insurance and I'm indicating that the mortgage insurance is going to be removed once the original uh, once the loan gets to 78% of the original loan bat, or purchase price. And you can see that I set up an escrow account. I'm going to go ahead and put a check mark in this box to indicate that we're collecting a full year's worth and then an additional two months. And then down here, four months worth of tax reserves to get that uh, escrow account going. Now I'm going to go ahead and arrow over to the right. And I built this additional product. This is an FHA, that 3.5% down payment. Because again, we want to compare how a borrower is able to utilize an FHA loan versus a conventional loan to be able to purchase this particular property. And you're going to be able to discuss and, and emphasize, um, you know, based upon your qualifications, this particular product is going to be more beneficial for you, whether it's you know, their credit score, their income, or whatever it is you can go ahead and drive that point across using this particular presentation. Now I'm showing that they're, they're put a 3.5% a down payment down here and you'll also notice right here where it says upfront premium. When you click on your drop down button here you can indicate that the upfront premium that you're going to be collecting is either an FHA, VA, USDA or single premium. So for your government loans just hit that drop down button and it alerts the system that you've got to collect that upfront premium. Very similar to what we did uh, in the previous product. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in at a slightly better interest rate than my conventional product. Again, it's uh, 30 year fixed, 360 monthly payments. Let's go ahead and arrow over here. And the biggest thing that you'll notice down here is this is where you're going to indicate how much that upfront mortgage insurance premium is going to cost the borrower. My factor is going to be 1.75 and I put a check mark in this particular box here because I'm going to go ahead and have that finance in the loan amount. If you remove the check mark then the borrower would be required to have, you know, bring that in as cash to close at the, uh, at the end of the transaction here. And here again, here are the monthly costs. I just changed the MI factor to 0.85. You'll notice that there's also a check mark in this particular box. Now with government loans what happens is that as the balance decreases the monthly mortgage insurance decreases as well. So for the government products you definitely want to make sure that you put that check mark in there. Conventional you would put those in there. And this particular product, an FHA loan at that high of an LTV, well they're going to have to pay it for the full term of the loan. So you can see that I put in the minimum MI months is 360 and I've collected the same reserves. Now once you get uh, your products, your two products in place, um, you can see I actually built three. You can show up to four products if you like um, in building a purchase presentation. So I do have the capability of building one additional product now I do want to show you this other product that I built and the way that I went about it, I'll go ahead and I'll just duplicate um, the steps because I think it's very important for you folks to see how you could save yourself some time using the uh, copy from button here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a fourth product here. You can see that I do have this green button down here where it says I can add a fourth product. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and I'll go ahead and I will build a, um, a fourth product and I'm going to go ahead and put together a FHA loan but this one is going to have a down payment assistance program associated with it so I'm going to go ahead and click on down payment assistance. Many originators um, have the capability if you're, if you're in a particular area to um, have some type of like a silent second mortgage that you're able to provide as a, uh, a financing option, um, but it may require you to use a, an FHA loan, some form of a government loan to be able to take advantage of the, uh, the down payment assistant one. So it's the same exact loan, 
It's the same exact loan as an FHA loan. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the Copy From button. I'm going to copy from my 3.5% FHA down payment loan. I'm going to bring in all those same factors. When I utilize my Copy From button, it could save you a tremendous amount of time if you're just going to do a little bit of editing, um, maybe presenting an option to the client uh, of changing the interest rate and having them maybe pay point. a lot of time by using this copy from button. Let me go ahead and arrow over here to the right now. Because I use the copy from button, you can see that it brought in all my costs that are required to complete the transaction and it also brought in all my monthly costs. So a huge time saver in using that copy from button. And I do want to show you real quickly, again this is a down payment assistance product so I'm going to go in here in the closing cost detail and I'm going to go ahead and create a, um, a custom fee here. I'm going to go down payment assistance. Maybe new home buyer, first time home buyer. So if you have a special silent second, this is how you go ahead and do it. I'm going to base it upon the, uh, the property value. I'm going to make it a default uh, prepaid. Click OK. And here in California, you can go ahead and put together, say, a 3% credit. So I'll go ahead and put that there. And you can see it's a negative amount there. I'm going to go ahead and click Apply to Loan. And I'm going to be able to show the borrower by utilizing that particular product along with the FHA loan how it's going to minimize the amount of cash that they're going to be required to bring in to complete the transaction. So that was my fourth product that I, that I built. I'm going to go ahead and advance on. And here's the analysis area. Again, you can adjust those benchmarks to whatever you think is going to be most important for your clients. You don't have to stick with the 60 months or the 15 months. You can change that. Here it's tied to 15, uh, 15 years. So 15 years is a long time for a lot of people to put their, their heads around. Maybe more like uh, maybe seven years. Let me go ahead and put that there. Anytime that I make an adjustment here, you can see it automatically makes an adjustment with these figures. And you do have the capability of changing um, interest in MI to net worth or principal paid, but for this particular presentation, when you're comparing these two specific products, interest in MI I think is, is key. So let me go ahead and go to the, uh, the very last tab here, the preview tab, and I'm going to go ahead and put a check mark in this box because I remember I did put my realtor information, I put their email address in there. And I would like them to get a notification each time that the client views my presentation. So the way I'm accomplishing that is just put a check mark in here. I definitely want to have a check mark in this particular box so that I, as the originator, get a check mark or get a notification that the presentation has been viewed. I'm going to send the presentation off to my client via email so that I can, in fact, get those notifications. I'm going to protect myself with a quote date. Then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on Generate Link. And this is the dynamic link that I'm going to send to my client. All I have to do is copy that, drop it in an email, and I can go ahead and send it off. For those of you that are using a Windows-based computer, all you have to do is hit the Share button, and it'll drop that in there. If you um, hit the email, it'll automatically drop it in there for you, and you can send it off that way as well. So. I've got this copy. Let me go ahead and um, show you what the, uh, the preview is going to look like. And one of the things that I'm going to want to do is video is very, very important to add to your presentations. So when you've clicked on the generate link, I'm just going to repeat the process here. When you clicked on the generate link, it generates a dynamic link. 
and you could change a lot of the different figures in your mortgage coach presentation and you don't have to send out a new link every single time that you want to share that with your client. They can access the original link that you sent to them. So you can update the numbers, um, change interest rates, purchase price amounts, whatever you need to to help educate that client and um, win their business. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Add Audio Video. When I do that, it's going to bring up a preview of my presentation, and it's showing the three products that I built for my borrower. If for some reason you don't want to show a particular product, real easy, all I have to do is go in here, let your mouse go to Presentation, select Report, and remove the check mark from the product that you don't want to demonstrate to your client. Arrow over, and guess what? On the presentation, this product will disappear here in just a few, few seconds. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring it back, though, because I do want to go ahead and, and kind of go through <coughs> and walk you through and, and show you a little bit about that product here. Okay. So that product will pop up here again in a second. The other thing that I want to draw your attention to is right down here in the bottom left-hand corner where we're waiting for that product to, uh, to show up, there it goes, is the record message button. You go ahead and click on record message. There I am. Good to see you folks. Happy Tuesday to you. Go ahead and adjust that a little bit. There we go. Good to see you. Um, my video is ready to go. I'm ready to go ahead and hit the record button, which is this red button right here. You can go ahead and hit record message and go ahead and educate my client, introduce myself, um, give them a quick two-minute video on you know, which particular product uh, could be uh, beneficial for them. Just kind of top level. I really don't want to try and sell my presentation. What I really want to do is give them enough information so that they want to give me a call. So that's going to be my call to action to them. I'm going to say, you know, most likely you're going to have some questions after reviewing this presentation. Please give me a call and we'll go ahead and we'll go through this um, step by step when we have that opportunity to speak on the telephone. So definitely have a call to action. Keep your, your videos brief. Two minutes or left. Make sure that your, your energy levels up and also make sure that you are the, the person that you are when they're going to meet you in person. If you talk with your hands, I mean talk with your hands, don't try and be somebody that, uh, that you're not um, when, you're, when you're on the video there. And then don't try and overdo it, too. I mean, one or two takes, perfect. Unless you say something that you really don't want to say, hit that trash can and you can go ahead and delete uh, your video presentation. There you go. Okay. So FHA versus conventional. If you take a look, key factors here. I'll go ahead and I'll clear these hip highlights. If you take a look, well, the cash to close, you can see there. This particular product is going to require about $5,000 less in uh, cash to close to be able to complete the transaction. And if you're able to offer that down payment assistance program, take a look. That even cuts it in half that from that point also. So a lot of different ways that you can position this presentation based upon the different products and based upon what your borrower's goals are. That's the most important thing is Make sure you're driving across the information that's most important for them, um, utilizing the tools that you have access to, the numbers that you're, you're going to build for them, for them, the graphs, uh, the video that you're going to add. And a lot of times I'll, I'll speak with originators that are using Mortgage Coach, and sometimes they might not have a camera on either their laptop or their desktop, or maybe they're working um, for a organization where it's not possible to utilize video, maybe in the office environment or whatever the case is, um, I do want to make you aware that you have the ability to add a video from your mobile device. So let me go ahead and bring over my mobile device here. <clears throat> go back to my home screen here and get that up. There we go. Okay, so if you haven't already done so, you're definitely going to want to download Mortgage Coach. 
to your mobile device. You can do it on either an Android or a Apple device simply by going to the Google Play Store or the App Apple Store. Once you've downloaded it, go to Mortgage Coach. Go ahead and log in. The way that you're going to log in would be hit the silhouette up there in the top left-hand corner. Enter the same exact credentials that you use on your laptop or your desktop. You'll notice that you have your partner area, your client area, and the performance. I'm going to go to the client area and locate that client, John Noon Homebuyer. Click on him. I'm now going to go ahead and click on Total Cost Analysis. I'm going to click on um, Video. And now I can go ahead and add a video using my mobile device rather than the, uh, the uh, laptop or desktop. Hit Record again, and boom, it's that easy. I think what you're going to find is once you start utilizing your mobile device to record a um, video to your clients, you're probably going to enjoy doing it more so on that. You can control the environment. If you need to give them a quick update, you're out and about, and you want to give them a notification about what's going on with their loan, real easy to just grab your phone. Click Upload Save Video. You'll get a confirmation that it's been uploaded. And you can go ahead and send out that presentation right from your mobile device. Go to Total Cost Analysis. This is an Android device, so all I have to do is click on the three buttons there, and I can send it off to them either via text, via email, whatever format that I know that they're going to go ahead and view that presentation from. So with that, I do want to give you folks an opportunity here to um, ask as many questions as you uh, would like at this point in time. We covered a lot of content. Um, and today, and again, this is recorded, so you'll be able to go ahead and access it and be able to view the recording, duplicate the same steps that I went through, and um, go ahead and build the same exact type of presentations. <clears throat> You see, it looks like uh, a lot of these questions are being uh, answered. So let me go ahead and um, I'm going to bring up what we're going to be covering here in the remaining weeks here. Let me go ahead and go. Uh, today's presentation again was a first time home buyer. Let me go ahead and bring up the, uh, the itinerary for the remaining sessions here for this week. So we're going to be working on tomorrow our first uh, first time home buyer options a rent versus own presentation. Excellent presentation. You probably are going to use it along with building an FHA versus conventional. So you're going to kind of piggyback off of what you've done today, but you're going to be doing it from a renter's perspective. So um, I hope you folks are going to be able to attend tomorrow's training session and learn how you can work with um, a client that's currently renting, show them the benefits of being a homeowner versus a renter. It's also a great presentation that you can use um, the next time that you might be meeting with a group of realtors at a lunch and learn. You could show them how easy it is to become a homeowner, especially if you have access to that program um, or a similar program that I was, I was showing you um, where you get a down payment assistance. I think your realtors will be wowed not only by the presentation that you're, you're delivering, but also the content. You know, somebody can actually purchase a home for that little money. That's incredible. Um, so get out there, make sure that you're using Mortgage Coach, crush your competition, get that competitive advantage by using um, technology and educating your clients. All right, folks, I'll pause here for a few last minute questions. And for those of you that need to go, thanks so much for joining me. And I do hope that you're able to attend um, our additional Rockstar sessions here. Perfect. Well, you're very welcome, folks. Have a great afternoon and look forward to seeing you in future training sessions. Take care. Bye-bye.